It's live. Are we live? Are we doing this? <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Okay. Um, got my little bar. <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous. Um, are we, can you hear me guys? Do I sound okay? I can't see the comments too well. Hey, hey. Oh, hello. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Comment that you can hear me. <laughs> this is actually quite new to me. Um, but yeah, I'm just in my back garden on a little like entranceway. Um, literally the street is right there. So neighbors can just walk by and see. Hey, Tyler. Yes, you can hear me. Perfect. Cool. Um, oh, freaking hell. Um, yeah, let's see. Alan Tanner, yes! Your father's joined. That's amazing, Alex. That's amazing. Oh, there's my mother. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Um, okay, I'm actually really nervous about this. So, um, I've got... Oh, that's good. I've got um, three cocktails um, to make today. They are going to be a Bloody Mary. Classic Bloody Mary, my kind of version. Um, we've got then a, uh, a bourbon sours. It doesn't have to be a bourbon, it could be a whiskey, it could be kind of any liqueur that you like as well, like a flavor. Um, you can do a piscal, you can do a uh, amaretti, uh, amaretto, however you want to call it. Um, basically a liqueur that's quite uh, strong, sweet, dark, and kind of, I'm using just a bullet bourbon for today. Um, in our whiskey sour, bourbon sour, pisco sour, I want a whiskey, I like whiskey. Um, what else? What else? Uh, this is from R. <laughs> hey, my uh, Auntie Nettie. Yo, what's up, Auntie Nettie? That's hilarious. That's cool. So, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, we've got a Bloody Mary, we have a um, whiskey sour, and the last one is going to be a twist on a margarita. We're going to do an elderflower margarita. Um, should I just get cracking? Uh, should I wait for more people? What do you guys think? Should we just... That's seven. I'm quite happy with seven right now. I'm just going to move that glass off the wall. Ugh, I can hear my mother kind of in my head going, the glass is going to blow over. Um, but yeah, what else? Who else? What are you guys saying in chat? Oh, Nettie, thank you for the love. Um, what else? <laughs> Alan Turner, that's funny. Oh, really happy about all this. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get cracking. Um, we'll start off with Bloody Mary. Um, a lot of the things are right now on this like wall, so I'm gonna be reaching for things. Bloody Mary, I'm gonna do it in a highball. Um, pretty much just a glass that you're comfortable drinking a water out of, kind of thing, like a large glass of water with some ice in it. Um, and then I'm building it my way in the case I like it spicy. I also quite like citrusy, so I'm going to use quite a lot of lemon juice. Um, I also quite like it quite strong, so I'm going to use a good 50 mil, probably a little bit more than that as well, um, in my drink. The garnish wise, I'm just going to garnish it with kind of what scent I like. So I like quite spicy scents, I like quite, um, I'm just going to use some celery as well. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and this stuff is fantastic. Which I'm just going to start off like this. So I'm going to start off with rimming the glass, um, which I stupidly don't have anything to rim it on because I forgot about that. But yeah, just get your lime and just cut it in half. And then use one of your wedges, kind of just rim that. Who doesn't like a good rimming? There's so many puns you can use, so many puns. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, do, 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 do. this is where the live becomes a bit risky. Okay, I'm actually going to use the chopping board, I'm not, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on and rub it in. To give it a little zhuzh. But yeah, you can actually do that if you want to pour it on. However, my mother's watching me live. <laughs> and just brought a plate over. Cool. So yeah, just a little sprinkle of that. <laughs> Thanks, mummy. <laughs> mummy to the rescue. Um, and yeah, you got a nice little rim of this. What is this, by the way? Um, this is uh, tajin, 
Tajin is, I found it in Mexico many moons ago. Um, basically, a chili lime, something that I actually grabbed. Uh, hot chili powder, Sainsbury's, mix that with a bit of lime. You're basically got Tajin, 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 I can never pronounce it correctly. You basically have that, so you can use that as well as a nice little kind of rim of the glass. Um, cool. Print that down there. Um, next, we're gonna just do some Worcestershire sauce, okay? I quite like the kind of Worcestershire kind of flavor. Um, so I kind of maybe go a bit too much, but I'm gonna go do a normal. One, two, three, four, five. It's a large glass. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Um, then I don't have Tabasco sauce. A lot of people just do Tabasco sauce, and a lot of Tabasco sauce. I like it quite hot and spicy, so I'm going to actually use this, which uh, it's hot and spicy, it's one pound. You get a lot of it for what you're worth, and just a little can make quite a good punch of spice. Um, <laughs> say don't be rude. I don't know, let's see. Um, it's hard to read comments, by the way. So I'm going to just like free pour it to how spicy I like. I can always add more, so better be safe than sorry. Um, next, I'm actually going to grab some... Lemon juice, so I just squeeze some lemon. Um, you can do probably two lemons to make maybe three drinks. <coughs> but uh, I've got my little measuring jig. I'm going to do 30 mils of this. A uh, bit of backsplash. 30 mils of that. Let's pop that back up there. And what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Lemon juice, yeah. Oh, the vodka. Uh, I'm just gonna use some kettle one. Uh, nothing special, vodka's vodka. Uh, you can also use gin if you want a good twist, if you only have gin at home. So you can make a nice uh, merry, kind of rosemary kind of flavor, uh, Bloody Mary. One of my favorites is a merry merry. Um, so maybe even put horseradish as well, uh, Bloody Mary. Uh, a lot of English have a horseradish cream though. And that cream can kind of curdle and be a bit weird. But it's not bad still, it's good flavor. I just like fresh horseradish with it. Um, so I'm going to use, uh, maybe generous, I'm going to do a 60 actually because I've actually got 50 on this. So, 60 mils of vodka. Bum, bum, bum. Um, and then, I've got a little bit of salt. Just some normal sea salt. One, two, three, just a pinch. And where's my pepper? Some pepper. Um, another good little pinch. I like fresh grind pepper, because you get that actual fresh kind of peppery kind of flavor. But also, I'm not going to add too much pepper. You can add more because I'm actually going to add lemon pepper. Again, I like my citrus. Um, so lemon pepper, which is literally lemon pepper. I think it's very Caribbean-like. Um, so you can get it in a lot of Caribbean stores. Um, again, a good pinching of that. And you're going to get a very citrus flavor. And the thing is, if you don't like tomatoes, why are you drinking Bloody Marys in the first place? If you do like tomatoes, you should so be drinking Bloody Marys. People always say, oh, I'm not really a big fan of Bloody Marys. I don't like savory flavors. Do you like tomatoes? Yeah, I like tomatoes. Do you like tomato soup? Yeah, I like tomato soup. Then season it like you should a tomato soup. Like, you like lemons, you like salt, you like pepper, you like the spice. Uh, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of the olive juice as well. I bought some fresh olives from just the co-op as I went to go and get ice. So I'm literally gonna do literally less than five mil of that as well. I'm actually gonna garnish with those. That's why I bought them originally. And obviously, importantly, tomato juice. Um, Where's my barbed? <laughs> I'm so used to having my barbed in my pocket that I don't have it in my pocket. So, little trick, you can just use a bar spoon and open it up. I will be picking that up later, don't worry. There we go. And, well, I've got my cycle bin here, so... Into the bin. Um, before I put the ice though, I'm going to give it a little stir to get the bottom up to the top. And when you stir, you're not stirring around, you're also stirring up and down. So you want to get the bottom to the top and then a little down. So you're kind of doing this like stir and down, stir and down kind of thing. If you watch, I'm actually going like up and down and like kind of like rotating it. So yeah, kind of that motion. You get more of a feel of it when you have the ice. You actually get that kind of, you want to bring the ice up into the drink and then I don't need a lot of ice. I like just a Bloody Mary, just a Bloody Mary. I prefer more drink than ice. You just want to cool it. So there's actually someone watching me over there. Hi. <laughs> I'm just doing a cocktail class. <laughs> this is really weird, actually. Um, so yeah. Now, garnish-wise, 
I, like I said, I'm going to do some olives on top. Um, and what was the other one? I'm just gonna cut that in half. I think that's a little bit too big. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Drop in something, nothing important there. Um, a celery stick and a red chili to make it look really pretty. And I'm actually gonna put it on the edge. And I know I had it in this pocket because I grabbed it at the very last minute. Play the planet, metal straw. And that is my bloody little Mary. Um, Try to do a taste, let's see. Oh, that is actually really good. Punchy, that's what that first reaction was. Um, it's a perfect amount, 50, 60 mil. I'm happy with that. I get that spice. I could have a bit more, but it's a pleasant spice. Oh, I that up later and I will go get another one or maybe my mother can go get me it and I won't drop it this time or blow it but yeah I'll clean that up later um, again live and last minute plans that you just don't really have an idea of what to do and how to do it um, but yeah flavor notes uh, very citrusy very spicy but the pleasant spice not that spice that overpowers and goes mm, I don't like that or oh that's too much it's you know palatable tomato you get that tomato flavor that salt that lemon uh, the Worcester sauce is pleasant and that olive juice, you get that umami flavor. Umami is that savory flavor that you want. Uh, a good ripe tomato is an umami, so you want to push that umami. Um, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to save that and drink that definitely later. I'm actually going to put this on the floor so it doesn't blow over. Um, is it this one? Indeed! It's Mother's of the Day. Be right back. <coughs> yeah, a martini glass blew over. Um, I might use this one for later, but we'll see how I work on that. I think so too. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about that when it comes to the time of the drink. Um, I can put that safely. Yeah, put it there. Cool. What do you guys think of that drink then? Um, any questions so far? Let's see. Oopsie Daisy, thank you, Mum. Uh, I only have. Yes, you can. Ah, that's another thing. So yes. Um, um, uh, what if you don't have tomato juice? You can actually use just tomatoes. You want to pulp them. You want to just get them. I don't mind. Like I've used before uh, a can of chopped tomatoes. I've just literally just mushed them all up. Got them really kind of like thin, loose, and I like that pulpiness. You get that kind of texture. And then a textured drink isn't bad. Which actually we're going to go into a textured drink, a sour. So a sour is already textured as well. So we can do textured drinks. Doing a texture drink with a Bloody Mary isn't bad. So you can, yes, use uh, Prasanta. I can never say it correctly. Uh, uh, vodka, yep. Uh, we'll try to adapt. Yeah, good on you, Toma. That's really good. Um, I think that'd be really nice, actually. Uh, any other questions? Where are you doing this? I'm doing this in my back garden. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, doing this in my back garden. Um, on the alleyway of my back garden. So gate entrance there, garden there, uh, uh, houses behind me, flat, this, whatever. Um, yeah, home sweet home, isolating, blocked off by a gate from the outside world. And I still get to be in my garden if need be. It is chilly though. Um, what else? Tint, yes, you can use tint tomatoes. Thank you, mummy. Hi, Georgie. A <laughs> long time to see, miss you. Hope you're good in the countryside. Um, what else, what else? So, should we go on to the next drink? Any other questions? Um, I think it's a bit of a delay, so I'll give it a few seconds. But other than that, I'll be um, And you don't necessarily need the straw. Like, that is a garnish, but you don't necessarily need the straw. Um, mm, you get that, um, oh yeah, you get that really spicy chili lime flavor. That fresh lime actually really opens up that lime flavor around the rim. Um, Particularly, yes, you can use salt. I think people are just off salt. They want to cut their salt levels, so don't use salt. Cool, let's get on to the next drink. Um, next drink, a uh, bourbon sour. Um, do, 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 do. Blow us a kiss. Mwah. There you go. Miss you all, Nettie. Hope to come see you and my cousin soon, Amelia, um, and all the doggies and Uncle Robert. <laughs> cool. 
Um, next drink, we're going to do a whiskey sour, uh, bourbon sour. Classic, can't really change it, though there are adaptions you can do. Again, you rock glass. Um, we're going to just build it up in a shaker, actually. So I'm actually going to get rid of the glass first, put it all into a shaker. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit so I don't knock anything over. Um, what else? I don't need any of that now. Oh, and some broken glass. Um, cool, I'm gonna take that down as well. Okay, so let's get cracker lacking. Um, you wanna chill the drink as quick as possible, um, but you don't wanna shake, as you wanna dry shake first. So, I've already cracked uh, egg whites. Uh, instead of egg whites, you can use chickpea, uh, just chickpea juice, chickpea, uh, yeah, chickpea juice. Um, which gives you the same kind of outcome as you would with an egg white. Uh, it's used for vegan meringues. Um, good alternative if you are vegetarian, vegan, and you don't like the idea of putting egg white in your drink. Why we put egg white in our drink? We put egg white to actually give it a texture, to give it what a sour is called a sour. Um, we are killing all of that, like, you know, uh, salmonella with the lemon juice and the, uh, and the alcohol um, and giving it that, you know, cleanliness. But also by shaking it, you're giving it a texture underneath it, that creamy, frothy, foamy, uh, um, smooth texture. So, yeah, I cracked just a medium egg white um, into just a glass and then I'm going to measure it out. I'm going to measure, do, 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 do. Uh, I would say 25. Uh, how big is the glass? Yeah, I can probably do 30. So I'm going to do 30. Uh, things are blowing, just to make sure nothing breaks again. Nothing breaks again, cool. God, it's so windy right now. Okay, so, 30 mils. Doo, 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 doo. Um, yeah, 30 mils, cool. Straight into the tin, let's put this on the side. Um, yeah, I'm not putting any liquid in this yet. Uh, sorry, any ice into this yet. I want to dry shake, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, what do I need next? Obviously, key ingredient. Bourbon, bullet bourbon. Um, very easy, nothing special. I like bourbons because they are a lot sweeter, so it naturally doesn't need too much sugar syrup in the uh, bourbon sour. If you do a whiskey sour, you might need a little bit more sugar syrup, which I'll explain about sugar syrup in a second. Um, again, I'm gonna use 60 mils. Uh, uh, it's isolation uh, Sunday, so let's get tipsy in here. Uh, <laughs> Now notice I actually used the egg white first because I actually still got egg white left in here. So I'm going to kind of clean that out too. So 60 mils into there. Boom. Let's pop that on the floor. Better safe down there than it is up there. And then lemon juice. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Lemon juice. I want it citrusy. 20 mils. Uh, I can always add more for it once I taste. And sugar syrup. So sugar syrup itself. I literally just made a little sugar syrup up. Um, sugar syrup is basically sugar hot water and you basically allow yourself to put sugar into a drink without it being uh, again textured you want it to emulsify you want it to get depth the thicker your sugar syrup the less you actually need meaning it's sweeter so my recipe is always usually two to one so i usually put about that much sugar in there and then water to it kind of floats to the top and then stir as much as i can sorry kettle water so fresh boiled water um yeah and just stir it let it cool down which i did about an hour ago around three yeah before now and three o'clock uh to give it that kind of uh cool down that it needed i also put it in some water in a water bath uh the wind is picking up yes thank you mummy uh why are you outside because i'm outside i wanted a bit of fresh air it's my um hey, by the way hey fox <laughs> um yeah i'm outside due to the fact that i want to be outside that's why i got a little jumper on um and also i don't want to disturb my parents with my awkward life a uh, 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 cocktail class. Um, so yeah, they are watching, I think, but they get to watch in peace. So, sugar soap, how much am I using? Um, 20 mils. Yeah, equal part lemon, equal part sugar. Um, cool, uh, that can stay up there. And then, now, dry shaking. With dry shaking, what we're doing is actually getting that initial shake. Um, you are gonna literally just pour it in. And now, the thing is, you're not gonna pressure it too much when you're, not, when you're shaking dry shake. So you need to be really careful when you are shaking that nothing comes out. It's not gonna seal the normal way when you do when you are shaking with ice. So you don't wanna shake too hard or too light still, but just be cautious because it could go everywhere. So you're just gonna give it a little kind of shake and you are keeping the container together. 
And that's it, really. Just gonna just shake, shake, shake. And you'll already start to see it's already very fluffy already. So that's what we wanted. That's the outcome we actually wanted from doing what we just did there. Giving that a time to froth. Ice, throw it all in. Um, not too much ice, but not too little. Uh, yeah, I can do maybe a bit more. The more you put, the less dilution you're gonna get. But we do shake because we want dilution. If we weren't shaking, we wouldn't want dilution. Um, and we want dilution, but we also don't want too much. So the less ice you have, all that ice is gonna melt. Uh, if you have more of it, less of it's gonna melt because it's surface and controlled substance. If you have a big ice cube, it's gonna melt slower than lots of small ice cubes in the same amount. That kind of thing. Science! <laughs> Science adjacent with cold cocktails. Hey. Cool. Whew. Um, doing that live is kind of scary. I kind of just did it in the moment though. Um, so yeah, you get that nice froth that we want. Um, now I'm not going to do anything special. I want the ice and that's going to give me that initial kind of drink on anyways. Drink kind of texture. So yeah, just pour it in. And you can always see you've got some lovely, lovely froth on top. Some nice bubbles. Okay, now I did go out and try and get some lemon. Annoyingly, we are in a little bit of a crisis with a shortage. Plus, I didn't give myself enough time to go and get some. So, I'm just going to garnish with some Angostura bitters. Now, you don't need Angostura bitters, it just gives it a nice little texture. Some of you might not have it, some of you might. I would recommend if you do, use it. Um, and you're just going to give it a nice little texture on top. And with some key ingredient, just a cherry. Now, these are maraschino cherries good maraschino cherries. They've got a nice little brown, sorry, brown purple. I say brown, why am I saying brown? Purple kind of cherry color red. Oh, fantastic, I love these. These are delicious. Um, one of my favorites. Any questions, what's, what's going on? Ironing board bar, <laughs> yeah. So I'm using an iron board for my bar, by the way, uh, in case uh, you viewers don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna garnish with a nice, see the syrup? Oh, it's just the syrup's amazing. Now why it still floats, and that is our drink. Bottoms up, let's have a taste. God, imagine this, mm, imagine this was disgusting, but that's not, it's so good. The bourbon comes out, the bourbon's like right there for palate. The bitter kind of opens up as well, more flavors, citrus, the cherry gives it more sweetness. Um, that's really good. I would actually say I'm happy with that. If someone served me that, I'd be happy with it. Um, sorry, the people are still watching. <laughs> um, what else? Then uh, I get that kind of, the last taste is very smooth. Uh, how do I explain smooth? It opens up, it, it's on the palate. That's like Citrus flavor on top. That uh, uh, bourbon is so there. It's, it's just, that's, the, that's the flavor I'm getting right now. It's last. Uh, yeah. And yeah, you get a lovely sour mustache. Hmm, that is really good. I'm happy with that one. Any questions? Any uh, ideas? Delicious. Thank you. How should I adapt this to work with? PT whiskey. Ah, PT whiskey is a good question. Um, you can actually do exactly the same. You don't actually need a whiskey. You can use a Pisco Sour as well. You can use tequila. You can use the flavored vodka. Um, it just depends on how, what flavor you want. So I like a whiskey. I'd use whiskey. The peat will be kind of an open flavor. So you might want a bit more citrus. You might want some orange. Um, a little bit of orange juice. Uh, fresh orange juice to just an orange garnish as well. Uh, to open up that kind of bitter sweetness that you get, that sourness, sorry. Uh, an orange would be a good one for that peat flavor. Um, that's a good one, Eddie. Um, I appreciate that question. Uh, do, do, do. What else, what else, what else? Can, can't see your eyes, stand back. Oh, thank you, mum. Um, my beautiful green eyes. Isolation Sunday rocks. Yes, I know. 
the wind is picking up. Yeah, okay, so where am I? Why are you outside? Thank you, Fox. And anything else? Ah, no worries. Cool. Um, what's the next drink? What's the next drink? We've got a... Should we go to the next drink? Yeah, should we do the next drink? Let's do it. Put that away. Oh. Um, next drink is... Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Uh, I'm seeing glass on the floor, so I'm kind of panicked. Next drink, we have a uh, margarita on a twist. Now, a margarita is classically just, you know, uh, two parts tequila, one part lime, one part um, contra, uh, orange liqueur. Now, you can actually use another liqueur, which is why I wanted to kind of get you doing this kind of version. I'm using an elderflower liqueur, uh, Saint Germain. It's big, beautiful, and wonderful. Sweet enough that you get that kind of, ooh, that's a different. Uh, and you get that flavor. You get that tequila, lime, and elderflower. Um, it's actually really good. I'm very happy with it. Um, so you can use something like maybe a, uh, uh, you could probably actually use a bit of like a vanilla vodka maybe if you want. You could use a rhubarb vodka, maybe have some flavored vodkas out there. Any kind of liqueurs that you have, you would open up other flavors. It's just basically using the margarita base and then putting the flavor on top, which the margarita base is just orange on, underneath it all, but you don't really taste too much. This opens up to a lot more sweeter, a lot more floral flavors. Very summery. Uh, can we have a drink delivered? Drinks delivered. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, I can probably go deliver these drinks. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, that's a really goodie. That's a fun one. Cool. Let me get cracking on this drink, which we are going to shake. Um, margaritas. Yep, you want to shake them. Um, uh, I'm only thinking of what glass to put them in. I was going to use that rock glass uh, that I did the sours in, but sours should always pretty much be in a rock glass. You could do it in a martini glass, the sours, but then I thought, oh, let's do a martini margarita, because it's then sippy and drinky and fun. Um, which one just broke? That's Beautiful. These like I love the like motif on these. Um, these are Grey Goose. So if you can see, them, there you, there you can. No Grey Goose logo on there. Um, yeah, let's do it in that. Why not? I know we're not using vodka in this, but let's say we're using. Uh, uh, ooh, that'd be really good. Uh, Grey Goose uh, Le Poix, which is pear. Pear vodka would be fantastic actually with the tequila, lime, shake, shake, shake. Actually, a little bit of agave syrup to give it that texture too. That'd be a really good version. Uh, I haven't got Gregus to the part. I do apologize. So, um, we'll start off with, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Knowing me, I will drop it, uh, or knock it into something. Um, start off with uh, uh, Santa Man. Again, two parts tequila, one part lime juice, one part a liqueur. So one part liqueur, this is gonna be then 30 mils, because we use six mils of tequila. So, 30 mils. Is that been? Yeah, I did bring the lime juice out. I was like, where's the lime juice? It's right there. I organized the bar. I thought my lime juice was there earlier. Yeah, forget about it. So. <coughs> um, tequila! Uh, 60 minutes, I said, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Do, 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 do. Whew, hefty. God, that wind scared me. Every time, everything's on the floor. Fresh lime juice again. You can go and buy, oh, that's something. You can go and buy those little bottles of um, uh, lime juice from like Sainsbury's or Waitrose or I don't know, the store brand bottles that are like green all the time. Um, but there's slits in them. Use them for like a lot of salad dressings and whatnot. Those are perfect actually, they're not too bad. I don't recommend them for like commercial cocktails, but home cocktails, yeah, go ahead, use your lime juice for whatever. It's gonna have enough kind of preservatives that actually give like a good kind of feel to the drink. It's not gonna be a bad one. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, this is just lime juice, so again, I've made too much because I'm gonna drink too much, maybe. Don't worry, isolation, why not? Um, um, what else? Am I thinking anything else? I'm thinking this is gonna be a good drink, tequila. So, lots of ice.
lots of ass. Let's do another, this is a different tin. I don't want the egg in my tins. Wolf every drink. Break it to make it. Any questions, any questions? Uh, only the turners are as just across the road. Oh yeah. in this drink, like any ice. So we're going to double strain it. I'm just going to put that there to make sure it doesn't blow. And double strain. Beautiful. What am I doing? Eh. Nope, I'm failing like this. My hands are freezing right now. Oh, let's go for that shake. That was quite a bit of a, bit of a shake. Now, garnish wise, yeah, you could do a lemon. You could do a lovely flower on top. It's in a martini glass, so I'm not going to garnish it properly uh, or normally. Um, actually, I'm going to do this. Um, you would usually do ice in a margarita. Um, but just for looks sake, let's do that. And that's my elderflower margarita. Cheers. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, you get that tequila, like a normal margarita. You get that lime. But that elderflower is the forthcoming of what that drink is. You get that instant, oh, what is that? Uh, uh, um, with that tequila. So you do get that. Okay, that's a margarita. You could do a little salt rim, actually, to make it more margarita. -like. You could actually do that. Just in case there's any glass on that plate. Um, you could do a little bit of that spice as well on top. That'd be quite nice, I think. A little bit of a spice with it. Um, mm, that's actually really good. I'm really happy with these. Okay. Uh, any questions on that one? Uh, get onto deliveries. Okay. You could do local cocktail deliveries. Indeed. Indeed, you can. Um, what else? Hey Jan, you've just joined, you've missed all the drinks. I know you're in Canada. Hey Jan, hope you're well. That's amazing. We made three drinks, I'm just gonna go over all of them. Let's grab them all. So, we had three lovely cocktails. We had our very citrusy, very vodka-like, um, spicy, I like mine spicy, Bloody Mary, which was literally vodka, tomato juice. Uh, uh, Worcestershire sauce, uh, lemon juice, some salt, some pepper. I added some lemon pepper to make it more citrusy. And it was 60 ml of vodka, a bottle of, I don't know how much that is. Oh, I've got another one here actually. That is 200 ml of um, tomato juice. Sorry, I'm forgetting words, English today. And 30 ml of lemon juice, that was, I think. Where we've got then a bourbon sours. Um, with 60 mils of bourbon, uh, 20 mils of lemon juice, 20 mils of sugar syrup, and 30 mils of egg. Under 30 mils, between, I wanted 25, I couldn't get 25 on my measuring jig. And then we have a elderflower margarita, with, uh, we have, what was it, 60 mils of tequila, uh, 30 mils of elderflower liqueur, it could be any liqueur, I recommend just any liqueur, like a flavoured, even a flavoured vodka wouldn't be too bad. It'd be quite punchy in the vodka because it's still vodka, there's a higher percentage than a liqueur. So you probably don't need too much, you probably do need a bit of sugar syrup or agave in it. Um, oh, and then the lime juice, you always need lime juice. Um, and that's my three drinks. Um, any questions on any of that? Uh, put all the drink recipes on Instagram. Yeah, I will. I will put all the drink recipes on Instagram. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Thank you, mummy. Um, People are joining, hi. You've just missed all the drinks and you joined late. Like, it started 33 minutes ago. Like, I said this would be 30 minutes, this, and people were like, no, why are you gonna spend 30 minutes making drinks? I'm like, it'll take 30 minutes to make three drinks to talk about them. Um, not to name names, mum. Uh, <laughs> where's mummy? Uh, she's at home. 
um, hiding, camera shy. Uh, could you do this with a scalp? Oh yes, great question. Uh, yes, you'll get that smoky flavor. Um, a real smoky flavor is actually quite nice in a margarita. Uh, one of my favorites is actually a smoking Mexican, which is with mezcal, tequila, uh, uh, agave syrup, and I'm forgetting one other thing. Oh, and CBD oil. Uh, uh, to make a real good kind of like smoky Mexican kind of interesting kind of flavors, you do get a little bit of that like marijuana flavor underneath it all. But it's not really there because it's just the oil, so it's, it's, it's subliminal more than anything. I'm going to push this forward to read the comments a bit better. Put all the drinks on recipe, yeah, that's fine. Uh, do, 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 where was I? Can we see some more cocktail tricks? Eh, too much pressure. No, thank you. Um, bring the one inside for your mum. Yeah, we'll do, mum. Uh, delivery to the Turners. Yeah, cool. Amazing. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Ellie. Uh, hope you and Declan are well. Um, what else? Who else is watching? Are you freezing? I'm a little bit cold. Um, my hands are gone blue, but that's probably from shaking the ice as well. Um, it's windy. That's the thing. It's actually a really nice summer day. Like the sun's out, blue sky now. It wasn't earlier. Um, but the wind has just gotten me kind of chilly. So I might nip this in the bud in the next few minutes and end this. Um, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Um, I'm gonna eat some olives. With olives. Oh, this is so fantastic. Any questions? I can't see any of these questions. Too windy, too windy for questions maybe? No, no. What's your favourite drink to make? I actually really like to make a sour. I was literally really wanting to make a sour today. Um, it's one of my favourite drinks to make because it literally is. It's a messy kind of alternate to any drink because you have to dry shake it. So you put all the ingredients together, the egg, the lemon juice, the whiskey or the whatever alcohol you want, shake it just on its own, no ice, then shake it with ice. So it gives it a kind of different kind of method. I like doing those kind of things. The ones that have a bit more variety. This is usually uh, a Bloody Mary, sorry this. Bloody Mary can also be tossed where you literally would um, put it into two shakers and just toss it between the shakers. Um, you're not shaking it because you get then too much of a texture that's really weird and bubbly which you don't want like a shaken soup do you like imagine that no but having it stirred is another way to mix it so I just mixed it like this because it's easy because I think you guys would do it at home no one's gonna toss their drink um, at home um, what's a good way to use Angostura other than old-fashioned sours oh good question uh, I like Angostura to cook with um, just literally adding a little flavor a depth wise is fantastic um, to a meal uh, even with shrimp um, you get that kind of I can't explain it you get another depth to it so adding a bit of lemon with some Angostura bitters and some garlic fantastic um, really recommend doing that um, Angostura can also be used for Ah, cheesecake. I didn't even think of that. I made a cheesecake. So that was actually what I was going to say about this. Uh, first off, I made a cheesecake, as maybe some of you know, a few weeks ago. I had one egg white left over, hence why I'm kind of, you know, it's isolation. I kind of pushed this one because you might be using some of your ingredients more or in different ways. So I made a cheesecake a few days ago. Quite happy with it. I had one egg white left over. I didn't use that one because I was quite a while back. Um, I used a different one today. But let's say I used the egg white from that to make a sour. Now that sour would actually go really well with a cheesecake. With some Angostura bitters on the cheesecake, it would be nice too actually. So those flavors actually really go well together. What I'm gonna use the egg yolk for, I'm gonna make mayonnaise with that. So you can use your ingredients kind of like in different places. Um, that's why I'm kind of like, you know, isolation, and everyone's kind of rationing everything, um, playing around with their ingredients and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's another way you can use Angostura. Um, good tip, glad you like it. Caesar, oh, good Caesar. Yeah, Caesar, uh, Bloody Mary, instead of tomato juice, you use clamato juice. Clamato juice is a clam flavored tomato juice. It's Canadian's number one cocktail, the Canadian cocktail. That's it, that's it. Um, hey, what's up, Adam? What's up, what's up? You missed all of the drinks. It's about 38 minutes ago that I started doing this. Um, if you have any questions, though, do send them along the way. Um, I'm freezing my ass off. I'm going to probably end this soon. Uh, any questions? Sorry, I have to. I have like a little step 
uh, where my phone is, so I have to kind of look up and over to see the most recent thing that's happened. Um, so yeah. Oh, hey, Adam, what have you said? What have you said? You said someone. Like, so you just. So you must be bored. Yep, I'm really bored. I'm really, really bored. Um, I'm just living my life, making cocktails right now. Why not? Uh, I'm a social creature. So, yeah. Guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, should I do another, let me know. If you have any cocktail questions, send them my way. Or ingredients you want to maybe work with or play with, again, send them my way. I hope you're all well and isolating. Keep washing your hands. I'm going to go wash mine now because they're quite sticky, but I'm a bartender. Um, best you under some warm water. I'm really quite chilly. Um, and thank you for the entertainment. You're very welcome. Lots of love to you all. And ta-ta. Bye. I can't pause it. Which one? This one. Okay, how many carry in at the same? <laughs> I think I'm still alive. <laughs>